you are looking at steel wool. The primary element that steel wool is made out of is iron. The properties include a gray metallic color, very thin fibers, and somewhat a rough surface. The steel wool is being placed into a beaker of vinegar. The vinegar is going to strip away some of the wax that's covering the steel wool and it's also allowing the steel wool to be exposed to oxygen in the atmosphere a lot easier. The steel wool iron is placed in a flask and covered up with a balloon. It's placed on a scale. Notice the scale doesn't move too much and the balloon is being sucked into or pushed into the flask. This indicates that oxygen is being used up in a chemical reaction. The oxygen is reacting with the iron of the steel wool. And again, notice the mass of the flask steel wool balloon system. The overall mass of the system hasn't really changed. This demonstrates the law of conservation of mass or matter. This states that during chemical reaction, mass is neither created or destroyed. In other words, the mass of the reactants of the chemical reaction equals the mass of the products. Chemical reaction did happen because the oxygen reacted with the iron. The evidence was that the balloon was sucked into or pushed into the beaker. And also, the properties of the steel wool, the iron, has changed. It used to be a gray metallic color. Now it has a brownish, reddish color to it. It's also very brittle. The brownish material comes off very easily. That product that was produced in the chemical reaction is iron oxide. Iron oxide is known as rust. You can see that it, it's a different color. It's that brown color. And also, it, it's very brittle. It's powdery. It comes off the rest of the steel wool, the iron, that has not reacted. So it's a fine powder.